Hey everyone, welcome back to a follow-up video on one that I uploaded the other day on a new window training prop that can integrate with or attach to a standard weightlifting squat rack. Now, since I uploaded that first video, I've had a few individuals, not a lot, but a few, ask me how quickly does this prop come together? How quickly can you attach it to the squat rack itself? And I think in that first video, I said it's less than five minutes. I've never really timed it. So you guys are gonna be able to see in this video firsthand on how quickly it comes together. So a quick review, there's a total of three sections. This first section is the outer wall, and this is a section that has all the internal framework for this, basically the structural support of the wall itself. And then you have the internal section, okay, which sandwiched together around the support structure of the squat rack. And then lastly, we have the deck. Uh, there's a total of 11 screws that put all three sections together, and they're all the same. They're two inch drywall screws. I have them actually preset in each section you know, partially drilled in, which allows for a little better dry fit initially, and then it's obviously faster and more efficient to, to drive those screws home when you're done. So uh, let's let's go to it. Let's start me on the clock, I guess. First section uh, has these base two by fours. I don't know if you can see it on here, but the support uh, struts on the base of the squat rack is where these two by fours insert. It actually helps with that dry fit. It helps to situate that wall a little bit better. Go above those and then kind of a tight fit, guys. But that's that first section in. Now, this is the second section, and this has some support structure right here, which uh, reinforces the anchor plates. And I'll use this cross brace, which supports the inside portion of the deck. I just kind of put my knee underneath that once I get it in place to kind of support it. So you lift that one up so it's tight. And then there's three sections or three screws on each side that attach these two sections together. So make sure it's nice and high up. Same thing on this side. Tight up. Sill plate. And then so this will be six screws. And then I talked about this here, guys. So this is what you're looking at is the support structure for the anchor plates. This OSB isn't exactly totally s square or not warped. So I just put another screw there on each side, which again, just reinforces this anchor plate structure right here. And finally, you have the deck itself. And I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it, but there's three screws here. You don't really need these screws because this internal uh, framework prevents the deck from sliding front to back. But if you want to prevent it from sliding left to right, then you would want to drive on these other screws. And again, that's right where they need to be. And you probably can't see this on a camera angle, but there's just three screws that hold the front of the deck plate over the front of the deck onto that support plate on the inside of the wall. So now it doesn't shift left or right. Here's that step stool that I referred to uh, in the first video. This is roughly 25 inches high. So just use a step stool to access, you know, on and off the deck. And you're good to go. I don't know how long that took, but it's it's pretty fast, all right? So again, guys, real simple. You saw it takes up a, just a little bit of space that you can put against you know any wall, any corner. Uh, if it's in your uh, in your workout room or if you got a you know workout room on your apparatus bay, or like you got a personal gym like me, this works great. And again, uh, super quick to to install, uh, just as quick to disassemble. 